<gasps> or what the hell was that? You want us to stay in this room? Oh! What the bro? That thing hit me. Wait, there's something. Oh, what the? Oh. What's that? That that thing just freaking moved. No way. Is there anybody down there? Or are you up here? <gasps> Dude, no way. No freaking way. I did bring a knife. But I'm so scared. Hello? Freaking demon house, bro. That's what they call it. Bro, I am freaking terrified. I am like, too. The story, I, I've just never heard of a place that has had... Right as we're getting ready to it's go midnight. in here, bro. <laughs> it's midnight. Oh my God. So this is one of those places that you better say a prayer before you walk in. A lot of the stories here are disturbing. Let's start with the bags over the windows because I asked about that and I was pretty shocked with the reason why they put bags over the windows. Supposedly, this house is that haunted that the neighbors were calling the cops because they kept seeing things in the windows. It got so bad that at one point there was a woman screaming and i'm just gonna let the owner tell you the story because it is terrifying but also pretty interesting the real truth of the windows it wasn't for the ghost investigators like you guys it was actually to keep people from seeing in because i was having issues with them calling the police and like i said they were just doing me a favor they just thought there was an intruder or a break-in they call the police some of the ones that i talked to we're not into ghosts or anything like that. They said, no, I, I saw a figure moving past for a long time, up to a minute or two. They said, clearly, that was a person. I believe them, they were, they were sincere. They called the police just to help. And of course, there's no entry, no, no forced entry, there's nothing. So I just chalked it up to misjudging uh, what they were seeing. And then I had a phone call, uh, roughly three in the morning, dispatch called and said they were gonna do a fourth century and there was a woman in distress. And of course, you know, three in the morning, your brain's not running fully yet. Yeah, and I was like, whoa, whoa, you gotta slow down. What, what? And they, and she repeated at 218 North Monroe, there was a woman in distress. The neighbors are calling and they can hear her screaming in here. Of course, I said, if there's a woman inside that house, you know, do a fourth century. You know, I'll fix the door, but little did I know, they already were on top of that. They must have done a utility check. They realized the house was not livable. Long story short, I don't know what they heard. There was nothing here. There was no woman in the house. There was nothing. And I did talk to a neighbor about it, and he said he was still up. And this guy I really trust. And he said he heard it. He said he heard it too. Yeah, he said it sounded like a woman was really screaming. And he said it was within the interior of the walls. He can hear it permeating. So that is why the windows are blacked out the way they are. You saw something when we first pulled in here. I did, You yeah. saw somebody, and there, there was nobody here. No, we were vlogging, and like, it, I, like a normal person in a white shirt opened the window or walked right by the window, and it was gone. And we thought somebody was here, nobody was here. You want to know the crazy thing? Huh. Where you saw that right. is literally the only window that the black thing like came off. I'll show you upstairs. And that what? is where the guy saw that spirit. Bro, this blows my mind. Yeah. I saw the figure. Like, I know what they're talking about now. Wait, you I saw it? Bro, I seen somebody in the, in the, in the window in yeah. a white shirt. That's probably what they were seeing. They it was in that same room. That was the room. See? Oh my God. Yeah, we didn't, didn't get that story that. till after. So. Yeah. All right, you ready to oh, walk in? No, bro, I'm not. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. So there's some artifacts there. I'm going to lock the door. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. But there's some artifacts in the window there. This place is so creepy, bro. Yeah, it really is. Just a vibe. I don't even know if I want to be here tonight. I wouldn't be here by myself. No. I don't yeah. think I could do this one by myself. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. I mean, with all the Ouija boards in here and serial killer living here and bodies being found on the property and they're still here. Like, bro, that is insane to think about. All the fatalities. Yep. So much tragedy. Like, so much evil in one house. Like, I'm really nervous tonight, bro. Me too. I feel so. calm right now, though. I feel calm, which is good. Oh, it's really funny because we first got here, 
James and I were joking around. We were really happy. And I don't know how you felt, but I got really tired. This is at six o'clock in the afternoon. It wasn't even nighttime yet. It's midnight now. We did a little B-roll. We talked to the owner for several hours. And, you know, of course, we went and got something to eat and wanted to come back when it was a little bit later. But I just felt tired, bro. I felt like... Drained your energy. Yeah. There's a, an off feeling about this place. That's for sure. Oh, so crazy. I want to say the property was just unlucky with all the fatalities, the high turnover rate, the serial killer, the occult groups. I just think it was a bad roll of the dice. It just happened to pinpoint on the property. Others say it's the property that drew this in. Maybe they're right. I, I, I don't know. So where do you want to start? Um, man, there's so many places. This place is so huge. I'm almost drawn to going upstairs. Like, no, get a really bad vibe. That's out. where a lot of people see that spirit, including the owner. Hmm. Let's save that. Okay. Let's save that for a little bit later. This place is almost like a freaking museum. Like, these are artifacts that they actually found here. Now, you know that this was owned by a cultist back in the 70s. This was so bad, okay? They believed that. They conjured up something really bad here. Not, I mean, there was probably something already here to begin with. But the thing is, and this is how I know something was done for sure from them. So Eddie was telling me that one of the occultists that lived here on the property in the 1970s came to him and apologized. Apologized for... Because of what has been happening here. He's a Christian now, turned his life over to That's God. Good. Good. Doesn't dabble with like the occult and things like that anymore, but he straight up apologized to him. It was like, hey, I'm so sorry about what's going on there. I feel like it was partially my fault. And like he, he like apologized. So who knows? I would almost like kill to see this person and get an interview. The fact that he apologized. He apologized. They, they must have done some really messed up stuff to this house. Straight up. Wow. Well, I mean, if they're involved in the occult, they probably conjured something up here. Of course, they have the bones that have been found here on the property, several fatalities. There's a lot of history here and a lot of bad energy. A hey, funny story. A little bit ago, I was microwaving some food and I did not feel right. <laughs> I almost felt like there was something coming from this room over here. I bolted out of here. I was just like, nah. I don't want to be in here alone. This is not a place that I would recommend anybody being alone at all. With that said, though, keep your eyes, ears open, wear some earphones because this is one of those places that is super active. We're going to be recording a lot into the night. We may, maybe, go all lights out, too. In like the that. basement. <laughs> and there was some bodies that were found down in the basement, too. But some bones down there right now. The, like, the bodies are oh, still yeah, they're there. they're still there. All the bodies are still on the property as well, too. Bro, like I wonder how many bodies have been buried here and did it have anything to do with the serial killer that lived here? There was old cold case of two children missing. Some say they've been accounted for, but then later others show me where they have not been accounted for. The names they thought belonged to the children where they reside in Ohio was actually their uncles or aunts or something like that. And then I thought, okay, maybe. Yeah, what bugged me was a story as two of the children went missing. But when they did the ground penetrating radar, he says, yeah, this one's here, this one's here. They're not uniformed, which is bizarre, meaning they're not lined up together. Even Native American cultures would line up loved ones somewhat together or have an area. These were so random. And he said, but the odd thing, there's two in the corner together. And I thought, oh, okay. He said, smaller ones. I never said a word. What's down over here? That is where the basement is, and there's also another big room in there with another Ouija board. Like, Wait, I didn't see that. Yeah. There's another room over there? Yeah. With a Ouija board? I think. I might be thinking upstairs. I don't know. This place is so big, bro. I don't know. I'm just, I'm nervous, bro. I'm really nervous. So should we have to see in the door do that? Like, it's freaking terrifying. So the basement is down the hallway. Yeah, I get the almost, like, I feel so off as soon as I walk down that hallway. So wasn't there a fire in there, or... Yeah, there was a fire here. A couple fires. Yeah, uh, a little boy died in a fire. Or a little girl. Actually, it was a little girl. A little girl. Yeah. And then there was a little kid that died in this room, like, mysteriously. Yeah, they, they did an autopsy, and they could not find, like, a cause of death. Like, normally they would say, you know, natural causes. They literally could not find a reason. So he just died in his sleep. Mysteriously. That's terrible, man. Oh, that was horrible. Rest in peace. Yeah. 
the little baby. Oh, that's terrible. I feel bad. I feel bad for the families that any family that loses kids. Oh, there's a like a church pulpit. Really? How come I didn't see that? Yeah, I didn't. We didn't see this room over here. Yeah. So they change out the sheets here if you want to actually stay the night. And it's my boy Nick Groff. He's been here before. You know that Nick Groff was the one that was responsible for finding out about like the the bodies and they what, did here yeah he's, he's the, one the one that, one that found. found the bones and stuff in yeah. the crawl space <gasps> so he convinced eddie the owner to do like a ground penetrating radar uh -huh. you know what i mean where they they don't dig up anything yeah the machines yeah and they found i believe it was two or three bodies <gasps> on this property on the property yeah oh my god and they didn't dig them up so the the bones are still, still there can't. the human remains are still so they there. don't even know who it is they don't oh my god dude did you hear that what there's literally like Again, there's two thumps, bro. You didn't hear that? I heard the second thump, but I thought maybe it was you walking around. No, I wasn't even moving. Bro, I am so nervous right now. I have such a bad feeling, bro. This is really a unique place, man. Like how they put the bags over the windows like that just for the neighbors to stop calling the cops. That's crazy. I've never heard anything like that before. Me neither. You know what's really crazy? So oh. earlier the owner was showing us around this place and as soon as we walked up to the front of the door, I said, I said, isn't this the, the room where the, the boy passed? I caught that on video, bro. What is this? Is this where the boy died? Wait, yeah, how did you know that? I didn't tell you. Cause he didn't even tell you. This is where the boy died? Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I was wondering why you said that. Lucky guess? Oh yeah, and the guy yeah. was like floored. He was speechless, he's like, how do you know? I that? didn't even know. Like I was like, yeah. why did why did you say that? Maybe that something weird. spoke to you. Yeah, I think it did. Maybe James got some psychic abilities. Bro, that, it, it, that guy was speechless. Like he didn't understand how I knew that. No. He's like, I didn't tell you that. Bro, this this place really creeps me out, man. Oh, okay. So the basement is down here. We'll go down there later. Still That's not the, the basement. It's not. No. Well, it's down here. This, oh, it's a closet, maybe. Oh. Bro, look, there's a mannequin. <laughs> no way. Oh, they had a, a Halloween party here. Oh, yeah. That is creepy. There's like some hands down there. <laughs> mannequin hands. Interesting. Cool. Interesting. Wait. I didn't close this. Did I close this door? Dude, look at the scratches. Really? On the door, yeah. I mean, maybe that was from a dog or something. All right. Ready? Yes, sir. Let's go to the creepy room. Oh, the basement is... The basement is back this way. Oh! Listen! What do you hear? Oh, you heard the thud again? Dude, there's thumping above yeah, us. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. It's coming from upstairs. People hear that. Bro, I just heard a voice. Bro, what the hell? I don't know. But yeah, the basement's back here this way. Yeah, a lot of people mention... You want to like hearing things above, and then that's where the owner, where he has a terrifying story up there. That's where the basement oh, okay. is. Okay, it's through there. Look yeah. how they have like a like a bell. Oh, I just got this really. I felt like I got choked. Really? Yeah, that was weird. Right before you went to touch that. Oh man. We should go in that little crawl space area where they found you the wanna oh yeah we'll do that later that'd be savage all right we're gonna we're gonna save the, the basement for last you do not want to miss it that's where the bones are right now in the crawl space and maybe if you guys are savage enough we'll go check that out damn that's weird i still got a pain around my neck you mm. know what it felt like like somebody grabbing me by my like jugular like, like right there like oh my gosh like uh, that's weird Tell you what, for the paranormal investigators out there that want to come to a really unique place. Yeah, this is it. That a lot of people don't know about. Come to the Monroe house. Supposedly this Ouija board too. It's really old. And it's like one of the first Parker Brothers Ouija boards. And there's another one up there. <gasps> Bro, what the hell was that? Did you hear that again? Bro, there was something behind me over there. I know I picked that up. Oh my God, bro, what was that? And it, your camera, why did you- My camera, camera literally turned off. I heard it. What in the hell? That was strange. Bro, there literally was something right behind me walking. Like, I, I don't, 
Oh my Dude, god. Dude, it was like right when we walked in this room here. I, I'm not liking this, bro. I'm not liking this one bit right now. You alright? Yeah, bro. It's scary. Dude, you freak me out right now. Bro, it freaked me out. Bro, I, I don't know what that was, but like literally there was something that happened over here. And I heard, hey, was I that, heard something. Was that cabinet open? Uh, probably. This old house. I keep wanting to show this room because it's cool. Even though we keep hearing stuff in it. There's a lot of creepy stuff in here. I mean, they do have a, a Bible, which is good. Yeah, they got a few of them. The Bible's kind of creepy looking though. Wow, look at that. It's actually a published book of the Monroe House, which that's a beautiful picture. I love that picture. What's up with this creepy doll, bro? Dude, he's got a few of them. Oh, look, the Hinsdale House. Oh, really? That's one of my favorite places. That's in, in upstate New York. And then that is the Wildwood Sanitarium, Salamanca, New York. The 666. This is like some weird, like, Bro, do you see these books in here? Yeah. There's like satanic books. What? Look at this, I swear. Are you serious, bro? Yeah. Look, it says the satanic. Bro, no wonder this place is like so, like, off, man. There's so much here. Look, Wait. there's a Satanism and witchcraft. There's a lot of crazy books. And it has been for many years, bro. Yeah. Like, that's why there's so much freaking dark history. And But I don't know. I, I really feel like there's something seriously not good here. And I, I don't, I don't want to say that word. There is a certain spirit that I believe is in here. I don't want to say the name of it. Really? Yeah, because what's here dates back to before the house was built. Wait, but I believe that things got progressively worse, especially when the serial killer was here and the occult it's, people it's in the 1970s. Wait, who is that woman up there? Teardrop Spencer. Oh, no, that's what it says. The blonde woman up there? Yeah, I don't know who it is. Hmm. It's not a woman, it's like a little girl. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, what was that? What was that? Bro. I heard something again. I'm telling oh, you. oh my God. Bro, this place creeps me out, dude. I don't know if I want to be here. This is one of those places, man. My brain is hardwired towards science and it really messed me up the first time I really thought I seen something. Not out of the corner of the eyes. It looked like a person moving. Just passing through. I had to sit down and I couldn't sleep for two or three days. It was just like, dude, that's so unnatural. That's not right. I mean, it doesn't, I, I got nothing. I mean, you hear stories about this, people seeing that. I'm not in that group, so that hit me like a ton of bricks. Freaked me out. Just, I couldn't come in here for weeks. Just, you know, I had to cool down and try to get a bead on things. Yo, so remember when we came down here, the owner was like, he was freaking out because one of the doors, oh my God. Oh, okay. I, okay. I thought there was somebody sitting there, but there's not. Yeah, because the door was open, right? Yeah. The door's open. Wait, the door's open? Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, is that not supposed to be open? No, not at all. Yeah, I just, huh. Dude, look how dark it is in here. I feel like we're going into a seance or something. Which, by the way, they've done seances here. Yeah, they have. Bro, it is like too dark. This is scary. Now, when you were doing your live stream earlier, did you hear anything? Did you see anything? <sighs> um, it's probably hard to because you were talking. I did. I did. Yeah, I heard. I did on the other side where we were, where the basement is down in the end. Uh -huh. Yeah, we caught some noises down there. So I usually like kind of exploring a place a little bit. Whoa, that was creepy. Before doing any sort of like investigating or anything like that. I'm kind of scared to reach out to any like spirits here though. <laughs> Cause I just don't know. I don't know bro. who's gonna answer. I just don't yeah. know. Yeah, it is very uh, concerning. But there was a door that was open. Cause he had the air conditioning on, he was, he was like stunned. Yeah, yeah, this door right here. Yeah, he was like, why is this door open? Oh, I forgot about outside. Mm -hmm. They see things all the time in the neighbors. Oh yeah, right over here. Yeah, yeah he was telling us that neighbors have seen apparitions and figures walking around. Hello. Uh, you sure you want to call out? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Dude, all the windows are, are, are all covered up. 
<laughs> that's crazy that you saw something too. Out of the one window. That's so crazy. Window. Now that, yeah. I'm going to show you the window when we go upstairs. Dude, did you hear the story that the guy said about when he saw, he saw this spirit upstairs? Thought it was his brother at first. And then when he figured out that it wasn't his brother, he jumped out of the second floor window. He jumped out of the window? And then I just kept working and all of a sudden, right here, just like he came up the stairs, just walked in, but went into this room and just went into here. So did that happen during the day when you seen the figure? No, that was right at dark. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, people can feel things and stuff. I had yeah. nothing like that. Right. I just got nervous, really nervous. So I crawled out that bathroom window there. Wait, so you jumped out the window? Wow. I've done it twice, and everybody thinks that's funny, but... So you've had to do that twice because twice you were that scared? 18 years, yeah. He jumped out of the window. Wow. When we go upstairs, I'll show you. Oh, and it happened been... twice. And this is coming from a guy that didn't believe in paranormal. Dude, somebody who was completely skeptic. Oh, dude. Okay. All right. Felt like something just touched my leg, but we're good. Bro, we could be walking over the bodies right now. Yeah, I don't know where they, they were. They didn't tell us where on the property, oh, look, but bro. the two anomalies. Look at this. Was it marked? Maybe they did mark it. Oh, he. I think he did say something about it was marked. So there's a little stone right there. That's where they buried one of Maybe. the bodies, bro. I think the bodies that are here are actually of natives. Because the way, when they did the ground penetrating mm -hmm. thing, it was like so far down. It was like soil that hasn't been disturbed in. A really long time. I hope it was that long ago and wasn't like the serial killer or the cult. <laughs> well, there was like 20 something women too that they said he's could be responsible for. Like they just <laughs> this house has so much effed up history, bro. Like it's it really does. Like I've never seen so much for one location in one place. Where is this? We're back at the front now. Oh, okay. Do so, we leave the door open back? Oh, there? no, we're locked out. We got to we, we let the door open. All right, yeah, yeah, let's go around. We'll let's go, go back. back. Let me know if you guys see anything or hear anything. Do our fams are the best at finding stuff that we miss. Oh, they are good. Nothing gets past the fam. Oh, I felt so much nicer being out here, bro. Like, I feel like I can breathe out here. Yeah, same. And there, it's like something sitting on my chest. It is a heavy feeling, that's for sure. No one likes anything, any, anything sitting on their chesticles. So I had to use the bathroom earlier <laughs> and I would not go upstairs by myself because, no, you, you know, that's where the owner saw this being. And I mean, we're talking about somebody who did not believe in the paranormal. He's all into like science and stuff. Hope that's so locked. he can't describe what he saw. You all right over there? Yeah, I was making sure it was locked. All right. Let's close this door. Oh, this is the one that needs to be locked. Oh, back to that weird feeling. As soon as you walk in, it like smacks you in the face. Bro, you want to you see something really weird? Yeah. Damn it. Bro, check this out. Go in this place. Oh, there you uh, go. Uh, go in there. In there? Bro, it's so weird. Oh, this is a porch. Oh, yeah, this is weird. Oh. Like, go in there and close the door. Tell me how that feels in there. I'm telling you guys, that is like a super off feeling in there. Yeah, it feels really off in here. That's for sure. Doesn't it? Like, hey. that vibe of like, they're having like a cult meeting. Like, Why are you playing, bro? Huh? Why are you playing around? I didn't, what do you mean playing around? Why you close the door on me? Oh, I said, I wanted you to feel that. Like, isn't it like, that yeah. vibe in there is off. I don't want to be in there alone. <laughs> you don't want to be anywhere in here alone. No. Uh, where to now? Capitan. Guess we could go upstairs. Upstairs, huh? When we walked in here, that door was completely closed. Oh, no. And we haven't even touched that. Okay. Uh, bro, remember we were hearing the noises coming from upstairs? And then that freaking door is open? Uh, yeah. Let's close this. I don't even know if I want to go up there. Bro, that, that's really, like, between that and the basement, I get the worst vibes. Yeah, I don't know about that. Whatever is here, can you show your strength and close that door again? You know, I'm just thinking, mm. maybe it's upstairs mm. or maybe it's out who maybe went back to the basement or whatever. I don't know. Mm. We should ask how many spirits are here. Okay. Brand new app that just came out. I have been kind of telling y'all about it a little bit. 
I have a link in the description if you want to download it, if you have an iPhone or an iPad. What is that? I don't know, bro. It sounded like a whisper or something. Okay, that's a choo-choo train. Hmm. It's not Choo Choo Charles either. But anyways, I have a link at the top of the description to this app. It is amazing. I used it at Lake Mead not long ago and it gave me very intelligent responses. I almost feel we should like walk around with it instead of just staying yeah, stationary. Like yeah. Is it like a consistent spirit box or is it more like spirit talker where it's like... It's a lot like spirit talker. Oh, cool. But it's from the makers of Necrophonic. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, they do an amazing job. And if you download it, using my link instead of just going, because I have mentioned the name before, it's better if you use my link because I get credit for it. James gets credit for it. And it helps us go to really cool places like this. So it goes back into the channel. Okay. Please go. <laughs> Please go. Okay. Yeah. Um, why do you want us to go? We just got here. Well, technically, we've been here a little bit. But anyways, it's a really cool app have a link in the description if you want to use it. Right now I have it on text. It's almost like a, a word bank that it plays off of. And then it's like a spirit box night too. Vision. It says night vision. Hmm. So you want us to use our night vision later. I think it's like baiting us hmm. yeah, to be in the dark. The lights. Yeah. Cause this is about as bright as it's gonna be right now. Marks. Marks. I mean, unless somebody that used to live here was named Mark. Hmm. And this is their house. Maybe there was more than one mark. So what's funny though is we were trying to figure out this app and we asked whatever spirits are here, like what their names are. And a couple of names did pop up right now. Mm -hmm. When it started working, it said Larry, Elizabeth, and then now Marks. I'm going to ask again. Are those your names? What are your names? Guess we could just leave it on and walk around. Yeah. So you closed that door, right? Yeah, the door's closed. Yeah, that's so weird that that was open. So I was kind of fiddling around with this app, and I heard a knock. I yeah. had the camera off because right James's camera door. overheated, so we had to turn it off. And in the meantime, I was kind of messing around with this, and there was an it scared the crap out of me. Do you want us to go upstairs? What's that? Detecting multiple. Detecting multiple. Wait a minute. What was my first question? Uh, it was something was about that? how many spirits are here. Right. And it says detecting multiple. <laughs> okay, so there's there's quite a few of y'all. I'm nervous. Do you remember we're hearing all that noise, like fumbling from up here? Yo, the owner himself does not like being here. He says that he comes here because he has to. Oh my God, it's so dark. Oh, what the? Bro, that? what the hell? Oh. Six o'clock. That's when we got here. Yeah, we did. We got here at six o'clock. Yep. Here, hold this. I'm going to break out the flashlight. Yeah, yeah. What the hell was Haunt that? Oh, <gasps> haunt what? Haunt them. <laughs> haunt them. Haunt them. Don't haunt Wait. us. Who are you talking to? <laughs> are you talking to? Yeah, who are you talking to? No, I don't want to be haunted. We're protected. All right. On the couch. What? On the couch. Where's her couch? Uh, there's not a couch in here. Maybe upstairs. Is there a couch? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. No. I'm right in front of the, right behind the Ouija board table. Is that where you are? Oh my god. This is like you get the worst feeling up here. So right there in front of me is where Eddie saw what he thought at first was his brother. He looks up and I think he even said something to him. Noah. Noah. Those like biblical names. Oh my God. I feel like there's something standing on my chest right now. Yeah. So when he seen it and he noticed that it wasn't human and it walked into this room, he runs down this hallway and goes into this bathroom and jumps out the window and there's a window right there voice 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 huh well 
I guess we're your voice. Oh, you want to hear something funny? Hmm. Remember we were talking earlier about like that. What did I say? Cell phone? Cell phone. Yeah, we are. We are using a cell phone right now to talk to you through your voice. Sure. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Who are we talking to? So that room straight ahead mm -hmm. where Eddie saw that spirit go into and it's like there's no other doorways in there. It just goes in and it doesn't go anywhere. That's where you saw. You what is it? You will live five in, and then five o'clock. Wait, five o'clock. Where's five o'clock? That would be one. Behind us, back in that room. Maybe we should go there first. But yeah, when we were doing the vlog earlier, those two windows are the only ones that don't have Stalker. any stalker yeah yeah bro what do people what do stalkers do they look out windows yeah was i a stalker for looking in the window no i think whatever was looking out to us was the stalker but it was one of these windows right here mm. that you saw like you said you saw a man with a white shirt on yeah and it so wasn't weird. eddie eddie wasn't even wearing a white shirt but this is where he saw that spirit go into what scared Said, I'm scared. I'm scared. Why are you scared? I didn't oh. walk into this room yet. And the door behind me started creaking. Oh my god. What? Bro, there is Ouija boards everywhere. I only saw the table. There's another one in here? Yeah, there's two. Like, they're literally everywhere. Bro, you know what this room is, right? What? This is the room where she hung herself. Oh, this is the. Oh my god. Wait, did she hang herself? He says she committed suicide. I don't know if it was a hand. What if it was by medication? Did you see what the sign says on the wall? No. Use the Ouija board. No love. No love. Yeah, use the Ouija board at your own risk. But people have like conjured up stuff in here. Yeah. And it's almost like they kind of encourage it with all these Ouija boards everywhere. What the heck? Bro, this place is gnarly. You know what I feel here? Hmm. It's kind of like a major gravity, if that makes any sense. Like something's like dragging you down? It just feels really like yeah, it's feel some that. sort of magnetic pull. Oh, I just noticed that's, bro, that says 666 on it. Dude, this is. <gasps> okay. Huh. <laughs> I don't like this place. Mm -mm, just way off feeling in here. Died in here. Wait, died in here? What the f that just said died in here? Bro. Are you hearing something? What's wrong? Right when that happened, uh -huh. that ball fell off the table. Get out. I literally think I caught it. Like, I guess it was on the table or something. Maybe I, really I just, caught... maybe out from my excitement, I kind of shook the ground or something. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know about that. So you died in here? Is that why it feels so heavy? Bro, you, you see how these... Organization. Organization. Were That's they involved with an organization? I was just about to say, like, you see all these chairs lined up here? Like, I, I think that's, like, different paranormal groups coming here and investigating. Tarot? Oh, tarot? oh okay. Like tarot, tarot, cards? tarot cards. There are some tarot cards downstairs. Bro, they conjure something up in here. I can feel it, bro. Like this I can room, feel it everywhere, but there is there is this room even more. Yeah, we need to maybe a little bit later come in here like completely lights out. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, alone. Let me turn this light off. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, I heard that immediately. <laughs> so uh, snapped over there. I don't like it, bro. I don't like right, it. Turn the light off. Oh God. Oh, that Ouija board planchet is glowing. Look at it. Oh, bro, that's crazy. Omen. Omen? Omen? Omen. Should we spend a little bit more time in here? I don't like the feeling, bro. I do not like mm -hmm. the feeling in here. The Wii 2 boards, it's just, it's off. It's just a really bad feeling in here. I might break out my crucifix. Christopher. <gasps> Christopher. I just said crucifix and that said Christopher. Delay. Delay. Oh, bro. 
touch my crucifix, bro. It is so hot it's right now. Oh, Feel yeah, how hot it is. It's warm. What the hell? No, that's and that's not from being on my chest, bro. This is it's like hot. Yeah, it feels warm. Yeah, very warm. Are you touching my crucifix? Certain. It said certain. And then it said hunter. Hunter. Why is it saying two words at once? Like it's listen, listen, listen. There's thumping. Oh, listen. Open window. Open window. There is no open window in here. Wait, does it want us to open a window? Mm. Dude, I'm hearing noises all around us, like thumping. There was a thump out there and a thump in here. Something's up here with us, bro. I am dead. Yes, you are. How did you die? <sighs> bro, I do not want to see whatever he saw. You know what's kind of messed up about this place, too? Oh, hmm. Is that, like, not just the history here, but <laughs> the crooked floors really make you feel off. Oh, yeah. So is there an open window? You want us to stay in this room? Oh! What the? Bro, that thing hit me, bro. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? How? How? No, no, bro, no. No. You all right? Bro, no, dude. Are Yo, you this serious? door literally just came off of the wall. Is that a door or is it a piece of wood? Bro, what in the hell? It almost hit me. I think you ran into it on accident. I did not run into that. Dude, what in the hell? Yeah. Are you trying to hurt my friend James? Dude, are you kidding me? That's not nice. Bro, that is, that is just crazy. So why do you want us to stay here? Oh, look, a toilet. Why does it keep saying Mark? It did say Mark. Bro, I don't know. Something Seeker. off about this room. I didn't see a couch up here, though. Remember it said something about... That door did that. Scott. So somebody... Yes. Overdose, Scott. Overdose. overdose. Did somebody overdose up here? Dude, I don't know. I like this. It almost makes me feel sick in this house. Haunted. Haunted. Yeah, it sure is. Pretty haunted in here. Should we come back in the dark? We are in the dark. <laughs> no, like complete darkness. Like with my IR cameras. What the hell was in this room? Four o'clock. So like, what the hell did the owner see that came in here and that where did it go? you that much to make you jump out? Brian? Brian. Like there's nowhere to go. Oh, look at this mold. Stay here. Stay here? Entertainment. Stay here for entertainment. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna stay where there's mold. Wrath. Wrath. So who did James see at the window here? That's crazy. Like I literally seen something in the only spot. Only spot. True. True. I did. Who was that? Dude, you gotta take some pictures up here. Oh, yeah. Do you have your phone? Stop no. now. Stop now. You don't want us to take pictures, do you? Do you not want to be in a picture? How many of you are there? Now you don't want to talk. Moving closer, hats. Moving closer, hats? Maybe that's just hats right there. Yo. I don't want to be up here, bro. No. Twelve. 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 Okay, I asked about spirits. Yep. There's twelve of you. It did say delayed, too. What the hell was that down there? Hello? Is there anybody down there? Or are you up here? <gasps> Dude! No way. No freaking no way. way. Hello? And I'll stay right here. Is somebody down here? 
Oh my Whoa. god, I'm scared. Dude. Oh. oh. I did bring a knife. We're also scared. Hello? Bro, what the Did hell? you lock the door, bro? Yes. <gasps> you can check it. All right, door is locked. Is there a window open? No, bro. <sighs> bro, I feel like something's been messing with us here. I feel like there's somebody Gabriel. here. Gabriel. Gabriel. You know, Gabriel haunts. Haunts. Gabriel haunts. Here's the thing. Gabriel is the name of an angel. Oh, boy, a One of God's angel. most beautiful angels. No, not a fallen angel. Bro. I'm yeah. going to have nightmares about this place. We haven't bro, even got to up. the basement yet. We see you. We see you. Where are you? Where can we see you at? Sin. Sin? Mm. So if you sin... Bro, oh, that's evil right there, dude. Yeah. That's evil. That is. She has gone. She has gone. One at a time, please. Only one spirit at a time. Died in this area. Died in this area. Died in this area. What? Wow. What area exactly? Was it the kitchen area? What if, like, underneath the house right here, and the, wait yeah, a minute. This is where the basement is. Is this why the, let's go to the basement. Wrong? I'm wrong? Okay. Oh, oh I, I said am wrong. wrong, bro. Look, because the basement's all the way over there to the right. So okay. it wouldn't be here. Thanks for correcting me. Get out now. Oh, get out now. Get out now. Oh, my God. Oh, I just give me chills, bro. Me too. Oh. Get out now. Oh, man. Worker. Like, right before. Wait, wait did that say worker? Yeah. Remember the worker that the guy said he was 38 oh, years old? yes. Sad story. So there was a worker. Basement. <gasps> basement. basement. Did I just oh, say basement? Oh, bro. Basement. Oh, man. Hold on. I, I have to. It's I have very to. lonely here. It's very lonely here. And it said basement. The worker that was here, he did not believe in ghosts. And the owner told him, look, man, I don't think it's a good idea for you to actually, you know, stay the night here and work. He was like, dude, I don't believe in ghosts. Like, I'm completely fine, I'll be all right. He worked here and he ended up getting sick. And... Philip. Philip? Uh, I wonder if that was his name. I don't know the guy's name. But he was 38 years old and he started having, like, sicknesses after working here. And... Knife? Knife? I do have a knife. Mm -hmm. Long story short, he had this infection that the doctors cannot get right so he started feeling a little bit better and he told eddie like hey like i'm okay like i can come back and work and he came back to work here and he ended up dying he didn't die in the house but what he said was that the night that he died he was talking to his brother and yeah. he asked his brother he says do you think it's possible for like something to attach to me and bring it home and the owner didn't know about this till after he passed. Right. But that next morning, he, he, he didn't wake up. Wait, did he? was he found here? No, I don't think so. I think he left here and went to his house. Although he did say he stayed here. He did stay here. I don't know so, if he yeah, was actually found, found here. There's been quite a few people that have been found here dead. Yeah. In mysterious ways, too. There it says dead end, home, and red marks. Red marks. Dead end. Red marks. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let's look for a red mark. All right. Are there any red marks around here? Uh, I don't see any red marks. Bro, the lighting in this whole place is just so creepy. It is. Air conditioning's on in there. That's where we're going to go to sleep later. Yeah. Psych. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I was about to die here. I don't want to sleep here. All right, let's go in the basement. Maybe there's right. something red in there. All right, ready? Pretty dark. All right, I'll go first. Oh, look, there are red marks here. Nah. Yeah. Are you serious? Dude, is that blood? What? I don't know. 
Uh, you know what? Nope, nope. I ain't doing it, bro. Come on. I ain't doing it. <gasps> Dude, there's noises down here. Are you serious? Yeah. As soon as I close the door. Be careful. Yeah. Bro, this is crazy. Hey, so you want to see where they found those bones? It's in through here. Dude, it's like a little tunnel. Bro, the last few things it said, it says strangled, uh -huh. and then it says must leave, and then it said we are here. So we're here. Whose body is in there? Oh. Hello? So they put some carpet down in here, so then you could go through there. But you have to kind of crawl. I might crawl. Let me see. Oh, okay, I'm going in. Huh? I'm going in. Oh, God. You're savage, bro. Wait, what did it say? Haunted land. Ah! It said haunted land. This is very haunted land. Oh, God. Two spirits. Two spirits. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> ah! Bro, this is your thumbnail right here with your legs hanging out the wall. Oh. oh, you should come in here, bro. Oh, yeah. Ow. Oh. I'm down. We can both hang out in there. Oh, wow. This is cool. Let's see how cool it is. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh. Okay, made it in here. It's a little tight. Uh. Ow. Ah. Okay. What are you doing, bro? What's James up to? James, I can still hear your microphone. Oh, look. So the owner put a little window here to where they found the bones. And I think a lot of people hang out in here and do spare boxes and such. Dude, how far back in there is he? Let me know if you see anything. What'd it say? Boy. I wonder if it was a, a boy that was found. Oh, you're really far in there. Yeah, man. Holy crap. Bro, you know that's where the bones are. Yeah. You could be touching one right now. Well, no, they're on the other side of this right here, this crawl space. Oh, really? Uh-huh. It's like a dirt foundation or something. All right. I don't recommend going in here. That's oh. crazy. Okay. Bro, how are you going to get down without a ladder? I don't know. Hmm. Wait, <laughs> you took my ladder? <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go upstairs now. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> that would not be fun. No. Actually, I don't even know how I'm going to even get out of here to begin with. Like, do I have to? You might got to back up. I got to go yeah, backwards. You got to go feet first. Okay. This is going to be awkward. Ah! <laughs> oh. Okay, this is not meant for taller people. Uh, I mean, I'm not super tall, but... Ah! Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. I'm coming out like a T. That was rough. <laughs> <sighs> bro, I give it to you, bro. I ain't going in there. <sighs> Dude, I've seen you go to worse places than this. Okay, now I gotta reach my camera. Ah! Okay. Uh, I want to know why somebody buried a body down here. I got to share something else with you. So the owner was going through like this basement when he first bought it. Mm -hmm. And he was finding really strange things like a locket of hair, clothing garments, like just really strange stalkery kind of stuff. And come to find out after they put all the pieces of the puzzle together, they believed that the serial killer that had access to this house was hiding some of his victims' things. Oh, and he still has them, right? He still has them, yeah. And he's thinking about setting them up around the house, like when he makes the house like a museum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he called the police too about it. Yeah, the yeah. police have some of it as evidence. So yeah, some pretty creepy stuff. What if 
some of his victims are buried down here. Bro, I mean, they, we found they found bones in there. Like, how much more can you, you know? Well, those bones could have been connected to the like the natives. They could have been, but they maybe did. Like, maybe they weren't. Maybe they were buried. You know, they never did any forensic on them. What did I say? Um, it said hurriedly. Hurriedly. Oh, <gasps> that just said Satan, bro. <gasps> that said Satan. No, bro. No. No, that is a name that I will not be a part of. I lived. I lived? But who lived? Who's down here? Listen. Are there any more bodies that have not been discovered down here? That just said a woman's name. Wendy? Mindy. Mindy? Is that your name? That's a pretty name. 1970s. 1970s! Bro, that's when the occult was here. It was. I don't know if that's when the serial killer was. I think they came right after him. Okay, the serial killer was maybe in the 1960s. Could you imagine you had a serial killer staying here and he moves out and a cult moves in? <laughs> How much better can you get like, with that? What, like, it makes you think, though. Is there something about this house that draws like bad people in? Well, we're here. Know. We're bad people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the devil was here. The what? The deal was here or the devil was here? The devil is here. Oh, no, The bro. devil. No, bro. It says the devil is here. No, dude. I don't like this. I'm not feeling it right now. Why is the devil here, though? We don't like the devil. We want to talk to Mindy. Can you show us where your body's at? Is it in one of these walls? Discontinues. What? Discontinues? Discontinues. What, did, what would that mean? Mm -hmm. Elijah. 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 Is that the name of your killer? Or is that another person that's dead in here? Can you tell me where you were buried? Is it somewhere down here? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bro, what, what was that? A bucket? Bro, did you kick that? Dude, I wasn't anywhere near this bucket right now. Is this, is this where you're buried? What the hell? Are you buried under this, this area here? In the corner? Dude, that's what it is. Dude, no way. Dude, that is... Are you really buried under here? Can you say it and confirm on our, on the spirit box? Bro, what the... Margaret. What? Margaret. Margaret, is that you? So Margaret is buried under this area here. Are you the woman that people have heard screaming from here? Oh, I forgot about that story. Yeah. Can you do a scream for us? Is that too much to ask? Listen. There's somebody up above us right now, bro. Dude. Oh, listen, 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 listen. I hear it. Wait, is that an animal? They're using their energy. But I don't know. Maybe there's a lot more of them in here. All right. Let's get out of here, bro. Yeah, I'm ready. We should come back in the dark, though. Don't go. What did it say? Don't go. Bro, we're literally about to leave. It is saying don't go. It says don't go. What? Murder. 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 Bro. Murder. I wonder if it's that serial killer. Dude. I'm you, I got that feeling, bro. Wow. Were you murdered down here or your body was brought down here? Yes, it is. 
<gasps> yes, yes, it, it is. is. Oh, what the hell, dude? <sighs> okay, so like right when we're getting ready to leave, uh, evil is near. Evil, what, bro? I'm freaking out. This thing right now is going off, bro. Dude, that that app is the real deal. Like, what are the chances? It gave me goosebumps. Intelligent. Intelligent. Yes, oh, you guys are intelligent. I think I've. Uh, I think I'm good down here in this basement. All right, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back in the complete darkness. Necrophonic. What? Necrophonic? Yeah, the makers of Necrophonic. Ow. What is my head? Father. Did it say father? Father, yeah. X-ray. X-ray. What? Homesick. Homesick. Bro, what is that thing? Was that there before? What? I don't remember the seeing that. The number four. Several. The number four. What is that? I don't know. It's like a little Halloween prop or something. Oh. Uh, yeah, I probably just didn't see it. Alright. Anger. Anger. You have a lot of anger, don't you? You know what's funny is right when that said anger, there's like a hole in the door here. Huh. Somebody probably punched that out of anger. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is this shaking? Yeah, I guess it was. Could be. Not likely. <laughs> not, likely. not likely. All right, we should like turn all the lights off. Any light that's okay. on in here. I will set it off. I will set it off? You will set it off. You want us to go back upstairs? You want to go upstairs alone? Uh, like you could go up there and I'll, I'll go check out another room? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is one of those places where I, I just don't, I don't feel right in here. Yeah. Alive. Yeah, we're alive. Well, I'm going to turn off these lights. All right, fam. We're in complete lights out darkness. It's so dark in here. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. I think we're gonna take it up a notch for sure. Oh God! All right, so the only bit of vision that I have is using the screen on my my little eye arcade. Oh, bro, I just saw a shadow. Bro, that's where I seen it. Something too. You saw something right there? Okay, Come on, follow me. Oh my gosh, it's dark. It's terrifying. Yo, there's orbs all over the screen right now. Hello? What was that? Dude, something came from down there. Dude, what is up with this? It's like every time we come up here, we hear something down there. This is my camera screen right there. Mm -hmm. See how like it's dark? Yeah. It's because you can't see anything through it. That's crazy. I, I'm actually mm -hmm. using this camera right now though to record the audio from our mics. Yeah, that's what we see. Yeah. yeah. Because the audio on these IR cameras is actually pretty terrible. Just to give you an idea, this is what it sounds like right here. And yeah, that's not very good. <sighs> Much scarier in the dark. <sighs> So uh, James got it on video, I think. I went and used the bathroom earlier and I made James come upstairs with me because I was scared. Mm -hmm. And the curtain in here was moving while I was using the bathroom and I could have swore, like I kind of grilled James. And I'm like, bro, did you come in the bathroom and mess with the curtain? Hmm. Yeah, and you were in the like in there like by yourself. Like how could that even happen? You know what I mean? Like I don't even get that. What the hell was that? Sounded like a door opening. Huh. Hmm. 
So in case you're wondering, those lights that you're seeing are the infrared lights. So those are invisible to the eye. Like to us, that it kind of looks like a like a little red, reddish kind of light. Oh, like what is it? What kind of color does it look to you? Yeah, kind of like pinkish. It's almost invisible. Oh. I just heard that like closing noise again. So weird at this house. Yeah, this is the room where that table almost fell on me. scary being in here in the dark. I wonder if we should turn like the spirit box back on. Oh yeah. Just to. Do you have it? No, I left it downstairs. It's all good. Oh, we should go back to that room where all the Ouija boards were. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know, the suicide room. There was a story that Eddie was telling me about a coroner that came here to do a report when they found those bones. And he was kind of like startled because he heard some rumors about a suicide here, but he didn't know if it was like factual. What the freak was that? As soon as I start talking about this suicide thing. But the coroner was like, if you want more information about the suicide, I could ask my father or something like that. Mm. Oh, he said something about, I was here before. Oh, yeah. This coroner was here picking up a body of a kid, sadly. I think it was the kid that just yeah. mysteriously passed away, and they have no idea. Like, a healthy young boy. And, you know, God rest his soul. I, I, I don't think that happened a long, like that long ago. Maybe, I don't know, maybe within 20 years or so? Uh, 17 years ago. 17 years ago. Okay, yeah. right before. Was it, it was right before Eddie owned the house. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the coroner was like, I was here for that. And if you want to know about the suicide, and supposedly it's all public information, but it happened supposedly in that room. Hmm. It's crazy. Oh gosh, it's dark. It's so dark. Dude, that door just made a noise. Yeah. And then following that, there was like a, like, woo, or something like that. I don't know if you caught it. A lot of the people that come here to visit the Monroe house have experiences more in the basement. I have to say, what is that? It's a chair. Okay. I'm just on edge. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Here's the thing, in my opinion, I don't know about you, I feel like this is the heaviest room. Oh yeah, no, it really is. Like I feel like there's something that like lives in this room. I, I swear like people have come up here and done some stuff up here, I feel. Well. And I also feel like, you know, like all these paranormal groups that have been here, it seems like these chairs just surrounding this right here, it seems like they've spent some time up here. But this is where the, the woman took her life, so. Especially with a woman's screams being heard from here. Right. People being seen in the windows. I mean, look, it was so bad that they had to put these plastic bags over the windows. Isn't that crazy? Yo, half the Ouija board is glowing right now. It doesn't really show on the camera. Yeah, you can kind of tell, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, <sighs> Did you hear that? It's like a big thud. Bro, what if, like, we're sitting here... And like some like ghost or apparition just walks right in the door right now. Yeah, that would not be good. Bro, I would like feel like we're trapped. Ooh, I just seen an orb. I'm telling you, I'm seeing all kinds of orbs. There's a lot around you right now. Is there? Like a lot. I feel like there's some. Oh, what the? Oh, what was that? That that thing just freaking moved, bro. No way. Did you? You didn't push it, did you? I didn't touch. I wasn't anywhere near that thing. Bro, what the hell? I don't know. Like, was this actually moving? I see not that move, bro. This the moved right here. Thing. I saw the ball moving for sure. Right after I was talking about somebody like walking in, all the, it's like somebody was pushing something, bro. Nah, uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope. Wait, wait, don't leave me up here. Nope. Bro. 
No, dude. All right. Uh, oh, <sighs> God, I see not. That. that is that is terrifying. This is the heaviest room, in my opinion. Holy crap! Is there anything else that you want to do? Thank you for doing that. That was really cool. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> I ain't never seen anything like that before. Uh, uh bro. I thought I no. thought at first like I wasn't freaking out too much because like I thought like you pushed it or something. I I was I'm, I promise. No, you, I know you didn't. We can I'm rewind just... that footage and I'll show you. I was nowhere near that little baby carriage. Bro. Hang on, bro. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, there's something behind me. There's something. You're, You're not allowed to me? follow me. You are not allowed to follow me. You stay up there, whatever you are. Whoever. Oh, bro. Dude. Who's that? Hang on. Bro, what is that? Bro. Yo, that did not feel welcoming. No, bro. At all. I'm going to close this door. Okay, hey. This place is cool. I've heard of many investigators coming here. And they experience something different every single time. I'm going to make a video with James following this video. So, yeah, we're going to stay here even longer through the night. baby. If you want to see that, make your way to his channel. I'm going to put a link to the Monroe house. If you mention that you are part of the Omar squad or the fam squad, they are going to bless you. I don't know, man. You couldn't pay me to come back here. Like, let alone, like, not imagine... Al not alone, but with a bunch of people, yes. Yes. I. But you know what? If you want to experience the most paranormal anywhere you go, I do recommend going with, like, just one other person who's not loud or maybe alone if you have the balls to do that. But like I said, this place is very inexpensive if you mention Omar or James. $150. For the whole night. For That's the crazy. entire night. You could spend the night here. They're is so many places i've been to with not even close to the activity that we've witnessed tonight for a thousand dollars that we've spent yeah 150 dollars like to come here to the monroe house definitely take advantage of that i'm going to leave their information down in the description also the app that i used today is also in the description please use our description because we get credit for that it means a lot it's an affiliate link and that helps us be able to pay for places like this that are super cool and you know our travel traveling is expensive in case you've never traveled before we do it for free for y'all but it costs us money so any little bit of help helps gotta go for now before we leave give me this mm -hmm.